keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. He would grease his partner to make it look good. But if you got doubts, why take the chance? All right then, that's that. Goddamn. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. I dumped that motherfucker already. How long you gonna carry him around? We need to get... Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. 
So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how the fuck you doing. Anyway. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So, come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts... What's that? There they are. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. <laughs>